Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 10 via DVD on an unsupported Mac, which in this case is a Mac Pro from 2010. Now check it out. The cool thing about installing it via DVD is it will allow you to install Windows 10 without having one of those Mac verified graphics cards. So if you don't have one of those, don't worry, this is the guide for you. If you do have a Mac verified graphics card available or you're just doing this on a MacBook Air or something like that, then check out the installing Windows 10 via USB as it's, you know, it saves yourself burning a DVD. Also, if you want complete mastery of your domain, you can check out the installing Windows 10 without bootcamp guide. However, for that, you would need a Mac compatible graphics card. So this is probably the guide for you. All right, enjoy. All right, first up, if you don't already have a copy of Windows, just jump on a Google train and get a copy of the latest ISO from the Microsoft website. All right, you're gonna insert a blank DVD because we're gonna be installing Windows on this. All right, so if you go in Finder, right click on the ISO, say burn disk image on burn it will start doing it if you press command space and type in bootcamp and launch the bootcamp assist app you can see that by default it won't allow you to install windows 10 but don't worry you can enable this by modifying the app just go into finder applications utilities make a copy of bootcamp assistant and right click on the copy and select show package contents. You then want to open up the info.plist with text edit. Inside, you wanna search for non Win 10 models where you should see your Mac version listed. In my case, I'll just go ahead and remove the entry Mac Pro 5 comma one. Now, if you launch the modified bootcamp assistant app, it should say install Windows 7 or later version. You have done it. You're amazing. All right, insert a USB drive in and select it to be used for installing bootcamp drivers too. After your USB drive is prepared, you'll be able to select how much space you wanna give Windows. Now be careful as at this stage, it's really hard to modify the amount of space after setting. So pick wisely. Bootcamp Assistant will now go ahead and try to reset your computer to Windows. But no, as you are booting from the DVD drive, it does take around five minutes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, select your region, input your product key, and when you get to the where do you want to install Windows screen, select the Bootcamp labeled partition. Windows will at this stage require you to format the partition to NTFS. No, this won't affect your Mac OS just a new partition we made earlier. If after formatting Windows, you get a complaint of 0x8030024, that just means it's confused about which drive it should install Windows to. In my case, I was installing Windows on a PCIe SSD and I had a SATA drive also plugged in. So once I unplugged that, I was able to continue. All right, so we're back here. Partition three, 118. During the install, Windows will need to restart your computer. In my case, it reset it back into the DVD installer. So I had to eject the DVD out, but as the SuperDrive eject button is behind the case, it was more work than it should have been. But once the DVD is out, Windows should continue to install. So now that the DVD drive is out, it's continuing to boot from the hard drive. All right, that's pretty much it. Finish up the installer. Go ahead and install the bootcamp drivers. And reboot your machine. You might notice that your screen is a little stretched. But after Windows Update has finished updating the drivers for your graphics card, all should be good in the world. One thing to note is some users have experienced issues when swapping the PCI slot of the graphics cards. So it's worth making sure you have your go-to graphics card in the slot you plan on using long-term. Finally, 
To get back into macOS, you can use the Bootcamp app. Unfortunately, if you're using a non-Mac compatible graphics card, as the boot manager isn't loaded, it will just reboot back into Windows. Yeah, it's my sound effect. So to get around this, you can either have both your Mac compatible graphics card and your non-Mac compatible graphics card plugged in at the same time, or you can reset the PRAM every time you want to reboot back into Mac OS, which unfortunately is very, very, very tedious. You can start the Mac or restart it, hold down Command, Alt, P and R. After the first chime, just keep holding it down and wait for the second one. After the second one, you can let go of the keys and then it should boot into Mac. Once back in your Mac OS, you can always reboot back into Windows from System Preferences, Startup Disk. Alright, I hope you found this guide useful and I'd love to hear how the install went for you.